you'll see a chart where the numbers are really through the through the floor, I should say. The other day, uh, well, you know why your timing is good? Because I spoke to him about how long have you been here? 16 minutes. I've spoke to him 17 minutes ago. I hung up the phone as you're coming in. And uh, he's a good guy. He's a friend of mine. I think we're going to have a great relationship. And Boris is going to be a great prime minister. I predict he will be a great prime minister. He has what it takes. They needed him for a long time. UK needed him for a long time. And uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, he'll, he and I will spend a lot of time. We just spent a lot of time when I was with the Queen in one of the great, most beautiful couple of days that I've ever experienced. She's a tremendous woman, incredible woman. We get along very well. So uh, Boris and I just spoke. I congratulated him, and he's all set to go. He's going to be uh, — I think he'll do a great job. Uh, we're working already on a trade agreement, and I think it'll be a very substantial trade agreement. You know, we can do — with the U.K., we can do three to four times. We were actually impeded by their relationship with the European Union. We were very much impeded on trade, and I think we can do um, — three to four, five times what we're doing. We don't do the kind of trade we could do with what some people say is Great Britain. And some people remember a, a word you don't hear too much is the word England, which is a piece of it. But with the UK, we could do much, much more trade. And we expect to do that, OK? Are you going to slap tariffs on the French war? I might. I might. So France put on a... Uh, a tax on our companies. You know that. And wrong, wrong thing to do. They should not have done it. So I may do that. I may — I've always liked American wines better than French wines, even though I don't drink wine. I just like the way they look, okay? But the American wines are great. American wines are great. And uh, they didn't do the right thing when they start taxing our companies. We tax our companies. They don't tax our companies. So France did that. I told him, I said, don't do it, because if you do it, I'm going to tax your wine, we tariff or tax, quote, whatever you want. So, yeah, we're working on that right now. We'll be announcing it sometime fairly soon. Uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, they put a tax on. We said, don't do it. We tax our companies. You don't tax our companies. And we'll be announcing something. It might be a wine. It might be on something else. but will be — it's called reciprocal. It's a reciprocal tax. And we'll be announcing that uh, fairly soon, John. Makes sense, John. Do you agree with that? You're a man uh, — you're a man that enjoys wine. You just won't enjoy French wine anymore. Go ahead, Steve. I agree that American wines are very, very good. They are great. I agree. They will be going. No, I'm never — look, look, look. I think that China — We'll probably say, let's wait. It's 14, 15 months till the election. Let's see if one of these people that give the United States away, let's see if one of them could possibly get elected. And I'll tell you what, when I win, like almost immediately, they're all going to sign deals and they're going to be phenomenal deals for the country. But uh, so I don't know that they're going to, I don't. I don't know if they're going to make a deal. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I don't care, because we're taking in tens of billions of dollars worth of tariffs. Whether a deal is made, you know, they're going next week. They have more meetings, meeting after meeting. I don't think, personally, China would sign a deal. If I had a 2 percent chance of losing the election, I think China would probably say, let's wait. Let's wait. Maybe Trump will lose and we can deal with another dope or another stiff, like the people that allowed these deals to happen, this — this horrible thing to happen to our country. Because what's happened to our country, the money that China has taken out of the United States has rebuilt China. And I don't blame China. I blame the United States for allowing that to happen. So if I'm President Xi, or if I'm, frankly, Iran, and Iran wants to make a deal, I can tell you that right now. But if I'm Iran, I'll probably say, man, if I can hold out, I'm going to wait for a sleepy Joe Biden instead of Trump. Because sleepy Joe, we can make any deal we want with him. He doesn't know what's happening. So what else? Uh, you, the dollars, sir? Uh, you were even threatening tariffs against Guatemala. What, what turned around 